Um, if anyone remembers, back on uh, September 29th or 30th, I made a video about a European uh, giant hornet nest and actually collected that nest uh, last Sunday. Um, I had it out on my porch uh, for, you know, the last uh, five days, and this was what was left. Um, and now I think um, these are queens here. I'm not an expert. This is actually the first uh, European hornet nest I've ever collected, but I think these are. Uh, I think this is a new queen. As well as this one. The markings, if we can see the markings, but they just they're a little bit. They all have very similar markings, but these these ones are a little bit more robust, as you can see comparing these two. It's just that. It seems like um, the one on the bottom, this one here, is just more robust than some of these other ones. And you can see there's a difference in the, in the cell size, and these are smaller cells, which... But the interesting, one of the interesting things, uh, I'll try to keep this somewhat cohesive, but... Um, one of the interesting things is that uh, towards the top of the nest, the cells actually look bigger than uh, some of the cells at the bottom. And this is uh, one of the uppermost cones, and it actually looks like it was built onto this one, which is, it looks like a similar size, but they may be a little bit smaller cells. Like this comb up here, you can see the cell size. And then you go to the comb down here, which is almost like a secondary comb. It's just not like one of the main levels, but these cells actually look bigger than the ones ab uh, ab ab above them. But this is still near the top of the nest. Same with those. You got the phone. It's hard to get the phone in there, but it's what it is. So the, yeah, these cells here at the top of the nest look to be a larger size than some at the bottom. These are the bottom cells, the very bottom comb. So I don't know what was going on here. It's like they built down, unless the nest got attacked and this it's like incomplete, which is, is I guess it's possible. Um, but it's got, there's this one here that, that came off. And this is actually up near the top too. But but these combs, as you can see, this, this comb has smaller cells than the one uh, below it. So this comb was actually built. It was this one here at the top and then this one the order but this this was actually it broke off from higher up I'm not exactly sure where it was so it's got you know, these this stuff broke off too but these cells look if you compare them this this was near the very top of the nest but you can see they look uh, I'm trying to get a scale but maybe it's because they were damaged but they did seem smaller but there seems like about the same so yeah maybe I don't know what I'm talking about but it seems like some of those cells were smaller but it seems like they're all mostly all the same size so I don't know if they were I think these are queens and it was October 21st when I collected and these wasps were left so it did go pretty much the full season and we've had some killing frost and this is a male and they can't sting they have long antennas as you can see you compare it with the females just much, much longer antenna, and they, they kind of hook or curve at the end. So this nest, I, I think it is interesting, but I'm a little bit disappointed because it just kind of leaves me with uh, some questions about um, how they have the, the organization of this, this official organization. But as you can see, like these cells here are clearly smaller than uh, this, this comb here. So it looks like um, these two combs, this comb, which was actually built into the side. So this comb here, unless if it tilted, but it didn't, because these, these combs go up. So it's almost like there's this comb. That's all one. It's all one. This. And then this, this, this comb, which is hard to tell if the cells are smaller, but again, you'd be the judge.
So it's like one, two, you got this comb that goes, comes at, this one comes out the side, so it's like when they had obstructions or something. So one, two, three, because this is separate. Four, five, six, seven. Sorry, I'll start over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And I should mention that even though it has a lot of combs, all the cells are so so large that um, it's actually very few compared to like that of a yellow jacket nest. So like, even though the, the nest is big, it's actually a very smaller, much smaller population just because uh, the combs um, have such large cells and they're, you know, similar size to yellow jacket. Um, but uh, since they're larger cells, they're comparatively few in number. So much less uh, output in a, a hornet's nest than a yellow jacket nest. Um, and this nest also could have been a translocation when the species runs out of room, like say they build like a bird box or like a very tight cavity like and they can't expand out. The workers will actually swarm to a new site and then the queen will leave too. So I guess it's possible that this nest was a translocation and they just built mostly reproductive cells. Um, but yeah, I, mean, I think these are, these are probably queen cells. As you can see it's almost as wide as my finger. versus these that, yeah, not, not as much, but see so yeah, again, I think that this is a worker. Face there. Species actually protect in Germany, you get like a several hundred or thousand euro fine for killing a nest of these, they have to be relocated. And then I think these are queens here. This is a queen, I think. Again, um, I'm not real experienced with this species, so I'm not sure, but I think this is a queen. So you have like 10, 11 combs, um, and this is interesting too. This was this fell down from the top. I thought it was like envelope, but it's actually comb. It's like they enveloped over, and there's like actually some cells in there. So, so this is uh, my first European hornet nest. Vespa crabro germana, it's a, the German hornet, brown hornet, giant hornet, whatever you want to call it, but Vespa crabro is the scientific name that's recognized worldwide. And it was built uh, in a hollow tree. I'll link the, the other video when it was active. I filmed uh, before I got it out, but you can see these other, I forget what they're called, but they're like those bugs that roll up into a ball when they get disturbed, but this is part of the branch that it was attached to. But, actually, I'll just chuck that. I was going to keep it as a souvenir, but it doesn't matter. And then this, this is uh, some other damp comb that was up near the top. It was pretty bad shape, but so I'm glad I got it when I did. I think it would have died off anyway by now. Um, so I think I did collect it at the right time. It would have gotten it. I already did get attacked by a bird. A bird actually uh, poked into the top of it, and, and then I got it the next day. So I got it at the right time, and this was all the remaining hornets. Can you do the math there? So not a whole lot left, and they did put up a little bit of a fight. I got bombed. They tried to bomb my face, but I was I was suited, so I probably would have taken you know maybe half a dozen stings or so. And I've never been stung by this species, but I think it would be painful just because they're seem like they would have more pack a bigger punch, more venom. But um, so yeah, that's a uh, European hornet nest, and the suspensoria is a uh, buttress-like, similar to the bald-faced hornet. This is what. Some, that's actually a nail in there, you can see. Um, but it's like uh, buttress-like suspensoria, um, central axis. You can see it's like thick, thick buttress there. So it supports the comb, and then some down there too. I'm trying to make this as detailed as I can, but so it's a lot like a bald-faced hornet nest, I think. And I think that uh, bald-faced hornets actually do have a lot of hornet-like behaviors, even though taxonomically they're like yellow jackets. I think they. In a lot of ways, they're actually like hornets. Now, the more experience that I have uh, looking at this, I see some similarities in the the two species. And I'll just show you the other side of the nest. This was the side that the was exposed where the tree bark went down it. It actually saw that off, and then 
So yeah, this might be incomplete. I don't know. I hope it is, but uh, it's a chance that it could have gotten it. I don't think a bird really damaged it too much, but it could have been a translocation. But it just like leaves some questions as to why these cells that seem larger at the top. But yeah, these these cells, and then let's see, they look smaller there. These these cells. So all right, this is a. Don't want to make it too long, but again, what I believe is a queen, and then what I think is a worker. It's just the, the difference in the size. See, these two are a similar size. This one's a little bit fatter. All right, have a good one.